I am. Reincarnated. I'm a stargazing. Life goes on. I need to my babies. Yeah, yeah. Woke up, looking for the broccoli. High key, keep a horn on me. That come my seat. I pee. Ownership, the blueprint is by me. Mr. Get Off, I get off in my key. What's good, gang? It's your KIMG back with a brand spanking new reaction video. Today, I have for you Bowser versus Eggman. This is Mario versus Sonic Death Battle. Now, I'm not going to lie. I haven't watched a death battle in a long time. Whether it be old or whether it be recent, I haven't watched a death battle in a while. So this is the first one in a long time that I am reacting to. Um, but like I said, this is uh, Bowser versus Eggman. Uh, so we're going to check this out today. Um, we're in for quite a video. So, you know, grab grab a snack, grab a drink, make sure you use the bathroom first. Or if you got to use the bathroom, take your phone in there with you and just sit on the toilet till your legs go numb. And then, <laughs> you know, enjoy the content. Um, but as we get started, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button just down below. Followed up by hitting that like button for your boy. And make sure the notification bell is turned on so you do not miss any future videos here on the channel. Now, with that being said, let's dive on in. This battle is sponsored by Marvel Snap and Prize Picks. Bowser versus Dr. Eggman, the king of the Koopas and the baddest of badniks. And they're not alone. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. I'm not going to lie, I don't really have... to analyze their weapons, uh, armor, uh, and skills okay. to find out Is who would fight? win a death battle. I don't dislike either character, but I don't... There's no, like... Ah, the Mushroom you know? Kingdom. A peaceful land of kindness, adventure, love. Ah, boring. Move aside, princess. It's time this place got way more awesome. Here comes King Koopa himself, better known as Bowser. The moment this orphan star child was found by Kamek, it was clear Bowser would command the disparate outcasts of the mushroom world, the Koopa clan. Sadly, not everyone's born a toad, and they treat these critters like monsters, huh? fated to a life of infinite jump farming for one-ups. <laughs> Bowser wanted a different world. But Princess Peach Toadstool would never allow the evil king's day in the sun. Her light was so bright, Bowser became infatuated with her. So he turned all the toads into bricks and kidnapped her, putting their princess in another castle. And another, another and another, like 40 <laughs> years of castles, only to be released if she agrees to marry him and his dad, bud. Yet he yeah. was foiled time and time again by those pesky Mario brothers. Mm. However, Bowser is nothing if not persistent. Look at at him! Dude's built like a brick house strapped to a saw trap! That spike shell takes a lot of punishment! Not even the weight of a castle can scratch it! Especially when he rolls up like a prehistoric Beyblade! And the Koopa King doesn't just breathe fire and control lava! That's crazy, I he think the last Mario game I played was Mario Sunshine. meteors from outer space, beckoning the Earth with a snap, inhaling torrents of wind, straight up calling down lightning! What else has he got? Oh, just a little dabbling in dark magic! Hell yeah! Wizard Turtle. The original NES manual even describes him as a sorcerer king. Magic is how he turned the toads into bricks, only countered by the princess's heart magic. But that's not all the magic he's mastered. Telekinesis, creating perfect clones, reanimating his undead skeleton, and worst of all, ruining every game of Mario Party. <laughs> hey, no, 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 no! I stole those coins fair and square! Bowser spent decades hoarding treasures. Coins, magic star rods, warships, clown cars, you name it. This is the same guy that created multiple flying castles fashioned after his own face. Yeah, he's definitely got an ego on him. He's talked about having a four-digit IQ, but I've seen this moron put death traps in his own backyard. A man after my own heart. <laughs> Despite his clumsiness, Bowser's charisma and leadership brought many to his side. Not enough to defeat Mario, but his army doesn't make it easy on the Red Plumber. They're the most <laughs> wicked band of misfits no, this Mario side of World 8-4. The, the Koopa Mario was the last Koopa Troop. An army spanning multiple territories across the That's mushroom world back. and beyond. Forever, Goombas, Koopas, the Troopas, and the others make up the infantry. Some with wings, some in shoes, and some even in race cars. They're the Red Shirts. Whichever first one came. In and 
first out. Piranha Plants, Bloopers, Last. and Lakitu's use their surroundings with the Jump Mario, Mario Suspected Prey, Land, Sea, or Sunshine, 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 Sunshine. Wouldn't be here but forever jotting last down last. the small fries, booze, shy guys, sentient bombs with feet, and more. It was imperative for Bowser to nurture a unit that covers their own vulnerabilities. For example, Kamek and King Boo both have magic, but Boo has battlefield control with illusions and destabilizing dimensions, while Kamek focuses on buffing allies, canceling enemy powers, summoning anything he desires, or swapping my items to screw up my Mario Party lead. <laughs> Not again. Speaking of items, most of the minions can use pretty much any power-up Mario can. The Goombas make frequent use of Tanuki Tails, and Bowser can really get into the cat roleplay. But I've as the Goomba troop grew that. and grew, it started to feel less like an army and more like a family unit. Oh, you mean like his kids, the Koopalings? Eh, they're adopted. What's the difference? Good point. Yeah, Bowser took them in and even trained them in dark magic. Though no one's as spoiled as his natural Nepo baby, Bowser Jr., captain of the Koopa troop. Spoiled is an understatement. Remember his escapades as Shadow Mario? He terrorized Delfino Plaza with literal evil paint. That uh -huh. whole debacle was basically his attempt at elementary school art class. And I bet Bowser still has some on the fridge. But really, the king is very protective of his kids. If the fam's in trouble, he can will himself to transform into a giant kaiju, all to crush whatever bullies tug and smack. Maybe a little overkill. Just one punch from giant Bowser launched a castle out of orbit. Damn. Taking into account the flight path and the scale of their universe, Bowser's punch must have hit with a force of over 125 trillion trillion tons of TNT. Considering how Yoshi punted poor Raphael the Raven so hard he exploded into a constellation of stars, <laughs> this isn't even close to Bowser's full strength. So hey. don't bully his kid, especially if he falls into some of Bowser Jr.'s set of black paint. That stuff's scary. Enough to unleash Bowser's dark fury a form whose very steps cause widespread natural disasters. Okay, seriously, how does Mario Yeah, I, th I think Bowser this got this He's one. Like Godzilla, Doctor Strange, and John Cena all in one great <laughs> turtle. Uh, we're not even to the best part. Bowser's dark magic became so potent he eventually learned how to warp the very fabric of reality. Anything the king imagines, he makes happen. He turned all of Yoshi's Island into a storybook. And remember those painted worlds in Mario 64? Yeah, he made those. And the staircase that goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Oh God, does anyone know how to BLJ? He also stole ultra powerful items like the Wonder Flower, which can mold reality like Play-Doh, and the Dreamstone, which can be used to wish someone out of existence. But his most iconic crazy. thefts are those big shiny power stars. Don't judge a book by its cover. Infant power stars, aka Lumas, can become whole galaxies. They also ferried Mario across the universe in three seconds. That's 489 quadrillion times light speed. Obviously, the Big Daddy Grand Stars are even crazier. Bowser used one to power his space kingdom, but then guess who showed up to ruin everything? It's a him! And when the Grand Star was freed, it caused a chain reaction that destroyed the entire universe via a massive black hole. Thanks, That's Space crazy. God, that Rosalina showed up to Bro, save the day. Not that Bowser amazing. needed saving. These He's been swallowed by another black like hole and thrown into a star OP that went super Imagine if this crazy OP fire turtle had to fight himself. Oh, wait, he did, and he beat the hell out of him. With all this power, it's a wonder he still hasn't conquered the Mushroom Kingdom. Perhaps it's because his visions of grandeur were never really what he sought. Surrounding him is a crew of outcasts and miscreants like him. Ryder dies that can't be swayed against him. Oh, are you saying he's secretly happy because he's got a big monster family now? Yes, but also when they actually work together, they legitimately conquered most of the known universe. So... He's a baddie through and through who will teleport through space and time to show you what's what. Because he's no ordinary Koopa. Make way for the king! Okay, nice little intro. This battle is sponsored by Price Picks. Price Picks is the best place to get real money sports action. And it's daily uh, fantasy sports is super easy to get in four years. Imagine right, let's, let's see what's going on with Eggman. Game. Citizens of Earth, lend me your ears. Imagine a world of endless possibility where people are free as the wind. Isn't it disgusting? Now imagine a better world, one with proper guidance and the technology to bring about global peace. But Wiz, only a brilliant mind can make that happen. Not just any brilliant mind, he's a genius at heart who knows the dangers within. 
He's Ivo Robotnik. Dr. Eggman. As a mad scientist myself, his story is my inspiration, just as Eggman's was his grandfather, Gerald Robotnik, who sought to create Gerald. world peace through technology. But then his beloved granddaughter, Maria, was killed by the Guardian Unit of Nations, better known as Gun. They're freaking called G-U-N. <laughs> anyway, Lil Eggy grew up a lonely narcissist because all his family talked about was Maria this, Maria that. Boo -hoo -hoo. Neglect and envy tainted Ivo's goals of following Gerald's footsteps. He distanced himself from his grandfather's legacy. Instead of bettering the world, he would conquer it to get the attention he deserved. No, you mean crave. Desperately crave. Eh, tomato, tomato. You just said it the same way twice. He aimed to establish <laughs> Eggman Land, a capital of science. And this paradise would have worked just fine if not for that blasted Sonic the Hedgehog. For years, Eggman's plans literally blew up in his face. And he's a very sore loser. But just like any good experiment, Definitely the doctor is. did more testing, seeking better results. He's created plenty of knickknacks to terrorize the world with. A laser gun, a cloning ray, mind control cannons, a flying armada, typical evil scientist stuff. Then there's the big ones. He invented a spatial displacement trap, which, while online, scatters a target's atoms across space. Oh, and then there's the metal virus, which transmutes organic tissue into living metal zombies. Damn. It's so deadly, it created a plague that nearly wiped out all life on Earth. Shame Eggman never made himself immune to it. That's a whoopsie. And when he's not duping you with decoys, he's riding in style with the Eggmobile. It's lightweight for maneuverability, but tough enough to withstand moon-sized explosions and even the center of a black hole. I mean, it's kind of lame looking, but he can plug it into big bad mechs like the Eggmobile. Walker or the Death Egg Robot, whose giant laser once obliterated 77,000 cubic meters of rock in an instant. That's like having an atomic bomb in your pocket all the time. Oh, okay, maybe this guy's pretty cool. Eggman built machines for a long list of combat situations. Some look like knights, others use extraterrestrial sources like the Wisps, and then there's the orbital bases, like I mean, the Death is, Egg. But the Revenant him is himself obvious, is but not Darth Vader's version is like strong. a toy compared to that the Death Egg, strong, which can like... annihilate stars. Woof! A whole constellation like thrown in one Bowser, shot. Bowser That's not to say Eggman doesn't enjoy scrapping with blue hedgehogs himself. Enter the Egg Dragoon. Yeah, all of that the rawest of the battle mix. It's Eggman got is using his brains. It's not got saying he missiles. can't win, it's but... It's got a whole lot of bullets, my god whiz. I need it. And don't forget, Egg Eggman built all of these things himself. Maybe world domination is in his grasp yet. One problem, Eggman's a turbo loner. No hobbies, no friends, no wife, no nothing. Come on, he has friends. I mean, he's a feminist. Oh, okay, maybe not, but what about Infinite? Sure, they might have joined forces over a mutually sought revenge against Shadow, but it counts. Sort of. Who needs friends when you can build friends? Obviously, Eggman has a tough time collaborating with others, so he just built his own army instead. The Eggman Empire. The Badniks are mass-produced foot soldiers. Buzz bombers, crab meats, caterpillars, egg robos, and don't forget those cute little moto bugs. The Badniks may seem simple, but they're led by an elite multi-talented unit, the hard-boiled heavies. Really leaning into the egg thing, huh? The Our army has a wide heavies. variety of troops, even your classic comedy duo with Orbot and Cubot. They're Eggman's assistants and immense disappointments. Every genius has their what dogs. What about Scratch and Grounder? Scratch and Grounder. Exactly. But that's why he's made top-notch bots modeled after the Sonic cast, like everyone's favorite robo-faker, Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic has the most horsepower in the Eggman Empire. He has the moves and speed of Sonic and then some. He's had his rebellious phases, but Eggman's reprogrammed Metal to better follow his commands. Additionally, when upgraded to his Neo form, Metal Sonic could copy biological data, including unique powers like Shadow's time stop technique, Whoa. chaos control. Yeah. He could even copy Silver's psychokinesis, and with enough chaos energy, he powers up into Super Neo Metal Sonic. That's Though everything crazy. would change with the appearance of the Phantom Ruby. One of many trump cards at Eggman's disposal, the Phantom Ruby alters reality by manipulating perception. Basically, super OP illusions, but in Infinite's hands, it's a weapon of mass destruction. I don't know how illusions translate to body replicas, changing gravity, or making a fake sun, but go off, king! And when used on the planet's consciousness, which is a thing, the ruby granted Eggman the Lightman form. 
Yep, apparently Super Eggman is canon. Super it is Eggman, I didn't know the this. The Phantom Ruby isn't the only souped up gem Eggman has. He's used the Jeweled Scepter to make the world shattering Egg Wizard. Then, on more than one occasion, he's effortlessly gathered the super rare, super powerful Chaos Emeralds. You know, the things that power That's Super so Saiyan low. Hedgehog. That's Eggman crazy. built and built and built, and eventually, he built something that started to build on him. Sage was Sage. originally designed as a mere assistant, For but through an alien encounter, That's the last she Sonic was I granted was actual I didn't get to play those Sage Sonic Shadow Generation. Sage is already super powerful, but now she's also super smart. She thought up millions of battle plans all at once to defeat the massive titans. And you can barely remember where you put your dune bug. I know exactly where it is. It's at the police impound. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay. Sage was Eggman's saving grace. He had previously found machines with personality lacking, but Sage's great adequacy in serving her function provided Eggman with something that, for the first time, he'd hate to lose. In essence, a, a sort of like a child daughter. Uh -huh. So like any good daddy, gave her the keys to his car, his spaceship, and his orbital death ray. Hell, now she controls the entire army. And this frankly unheard of trust from Eggman became crucial in defeating the end, a primordial entity so mighty even Supersonic struggled against it. Their battle can only be described as peak fiction, cause charged by seven chaos emeralds, Supersonic's no joke. The power of one emerald can shift continents, all seven together can shift the universe. Yeah and kill some pretty terrifying bosses, like Eggman's Time Eater, which ripped apart space-time like tissue paper. In short, Chaos Emeralds give thoughts power. With them, Eggman's best machines can run indefinitely while matching the greatest powers ever seen. Like when three supers battled Solaris, who tried to destroy time itself. Solaris I've, extended I've, its I've chaos across of, multiple timelines in about 20 over. seconds, or 73 quadrillion times light speed. It's funny though, while Eggman's smarts have sort of defeated Sonic here and there, he's pretty effective when he teams up with the blue blur to save the world. Well, recall how Professor Gerald was a good person before losing the granddaughter he loved. In Eggman's case, now that he has Sage, perhaps a similar story is playing out in reverse. Nah. Eggie will <laughs> always have a harebrained scheme behind his cufflinks. So watch out, critters and plebeians of the world. He is the Eggman, and he's got the master plan. Wiz, you gotta help me! What happened now? I'm... I'm a... Alright, folks, hit me in the comments. Who you got? Take the time right now. Bowser or Eggman? I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's, it's, it's looking pretty good, but some Bowser's powers and abilities look crazy. There's some, a lot of them, a lot of that info I did not know about either, either uh, combatant, but a lot of that... It sounds crazy. All right, let's let's get into this. All right, the combatants are set. We've run the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle. Yeah, and there's a live action version of both Bowser and Eggman. <laughs> This territory is now the base for my upcoming Eggman land, too. What a joke. <laughs> I am Dr. Eggman, your new genius overlord. Get a load of this. Oh, I'm about to get crazy. Army versus army. It ain't no 1v1, baby. All these toys an invasion force? Let's see toads do better. That's a decoy, you idiot. This power is without mm. peer. It is the ultimate strength. Give me 
be like end game vibes. seem surprising given how the Sonic series is not afraid to show how tough its cast is, while Mario's comes across as more cartoony. But as it turns out, Bowser had everything he needed to take Chrome Dome down. Strap in, this one's a lot, so we'll break it down into five categories. First up is physical stats. Mm -hmm. Bowser pretty handedly outmatched any of Eggman's usual mechs, like uh -huh. the Egg Dragoon or the Death Egg Robot. The Death Egg Robot could level cities. Bowser could punch a castle out of orbit. The Death Egg could destroy stars, but Yoshi could match that level of power, and Bowser's strength is certainly above the green dinosaurs. Plus, while both Bowser and Eggman's tech survived black holes, Bowser's was much larger. So, he may win stats, but this could change with their powers. With so many items and minions, that could make all that a moot point. Aside from power-up items, both could manipulate minds, create duplicates, and alter space-time. However, Bowser had a significant edge in having access to the majority of his abilities at all times. Yeah, Eggman can do some crazy stuff, but only across different mechs, fortresses, crazy. or space bases. Bowser's all natural. He's got all his best powers built in, and he ain't even a robot. Meaning he wins the War of a he even had counters for battle enders like the metal virus and spatial displacement trap. Context matters for those weapons and both backfired in the past. But more importantly, Bowser could simply reverse the effects with his transmutation magic. Conversely, most of Eggman's robots could get turned into, say, a frog or a block with no reliable way back. Bowser takes the edge in powers. But definitely not for intelligence. Come on, you have a four digit IQ, Bowser? Really? That's cute. I mean, don't get me wrong. Bowser's not an idiot. Usually, just really, really clumsy. 
poor fella. Meanwhile, Eggman's an engineering genius who rarely ever gets bested by brains. Easy dub. Now, let's talk trump cards. As in, items so powerful they could decide the entire outcome on their own. The Phantom Ruby was super dangerous, but specifically targets perceptions. Unlike Bowser's Wonder Flower, which mucks up reality for real. The Ruby affected a whole planet, but the Wonder Flower had the power to alter the universe. Also, the Dream Stone's ability to wish anything of out of existence would have no problem cleaning up Super Neo Metal Sonic or Time Eater. Their most prized possessions was a tougher call. Together, the Chaos Emeralds can break the universe, but so can the Grand Stars. Arguably not as much given the Emerald scaling to Solaris, though Power Stars and Grand Stars are far more plentiful. Clearly, this is getting fairly abstract, and both had multiple options that could win the day instantly, so the safest bet is to call this category a tie. Which means it's finally time to compare their armies. Eggman seems deadlier at first glance. I mean, look at all those buzz saws and rockets. Metal Sonic speed and power alone could solo most of the Koopa Troop, but the Eggman Empire lacks something Bowser had in spades. Teamwork and loyalty. Eggman is a notoriously terrible team player. His alliances are practically guaranteed to fall apart. Hell, in Sonic Generations, he could barely manage working with himself. Eggman's army is designed to be controlled by just him. To Eggman, it's harder to command those with free will, hence his rivalry with the free-natured Sonic. Meanwhile, the Koopa Troop follows Bowser because they actually like him. They train really hard to cover each other's weak points, giving them plenty of advantages as this war progressed, like battlefield control through King Boo's magic and Bowser Jr.'s paint. And since the Koopa Troop doesn't rely that much on technology, Sage's hacking potential had little use. Also, secret weapon? Kamek is kinda busted, canceling Metal Sonic's power copying, stealing the Phantom Ruby, and potentially swapping the Chaos Emeralds were huge game changers. Add on that Bowser and his army can use any Mario power-up item, and they had millions, no, billions of combinations that the Eggman Empire just could not actively plan against. Even with Sage's millions of plans to take down the Titans, she thought them to be unbeatable, which Sonic proved was incorrect. Just comparing their conquests makes it clear. The Eggman Empire took over the whole planet, but Bowser's troop conquered most of the universe. Eggman was no pushover. His wit, power output, and ridiculous machines yeah, gave Bowser, Bowser the that biggest fight of his life. Can. But the Koopa King's ludicrous strength, that. abilities, and united forces ultimately prevailed. Eggman tried to poach the king, and now he's cracked and scrambled. The winner is Bowser. Next what, time on Death what's Battle. What's the next fight? All guys versus Among Us. Subscribe and join as a member to see more Death Battle. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I want to check that one out. But it seems. Eh, I don't know what. How can? How exciting can that be? Fall Guys versus Among Us. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Um, let me know in the comments what you thought, because that was like once they really started getting into like Bowser's abilities, you know, his powers, a lot of it that I didn't even realize he was able to do. Um, and, you know, a lot of it, I didn't connect the dots I'm like, oh, shit, Bowser did do that. You know, I remember the, the Nintendo 64, the Mario 64 with the, the paintings on the wall going, you know, in and out those worlds. Yes, that I remembered, but I don't know why I didn't click. Like, Bowser was the one who did all of that, you know, affected all of those paintings that you were, you know, able to um, transport from world to world and all that stuff. Um, Eggman, I know he's a super genius. I know he built his army from the ground up and whatever the case may be, but one thing is definitely for sure, he he does not have a loyal army. Everything he has is built. And even the even 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 the the the, the tech he's built has turned on him at one point. Metal Sonic being ex an example. Um but it's all cool. Uh I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed the reaction to this death battle. Um definitely drop a like, leave a comment uh, continue to take care of yourselves and each other. I, I've given you a lot of videos today. You know, I don't know why. I just felt like, you know, going extra crazy for y'all. But I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.
Oh, 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 oh,